this is a 48 by 48 inch major work called the Dream River. It's turned out to be one of the favorite backdrops for taking pictures of people who visit my home. By having them in front of the aura of light, it imparts a nice feeling of aesthetics to them that suggests the spiritual side of things. I discovered this place I was painting along the Danube River in Austria. And I saw a steamer heading toward a little town, I believe it was Marie St. Elm. And I often wanted to go down the Danube on a steamer, but the question was, how do I make arrangements? Now I was on the wrong side of the river, and I started heading toward the little town, so I threw my painting gear in my car and had to drive about a mile down and park my car in a questionable place, and, and I'm running down the dock carrying my relatively expensive photography and video equipment. Unfortunately, the steamer was just starting to pull away. They just pulled in the gangway. And I'm running, 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 and I'm calculating, can I possibly jump on to this moving steamer? And I literally jumped a substantial distance. I mean, and the crew who had just pulled in the gangway caught me or I would have gone rolling on the deck. I'm not sure just how far, but it was well over six feet. And I went down on a delightful ride down the Danube to a little town called Lintz. And on the way, we passed this castle that is in the distance there. And I thought I would like to return there and do a painting of it. And it was really kind of in a very, very special, beautiful setting. What I particularly like about this painting is the range of color. I was employing a form of pointillism. Where I had complementary colors running throughout. And it allowed for a lovely strength of color. and a beautiful harmony and vibrancy. Now Da Vinci ascribed to a concept of beauty, I believe he called it Sampacato for smoky, and it was dealing with subtle transitions of value. And this particular piece is all about transitions. You have a dynamic light source with energy extending out from that area. And even this painting is quite fascinating. I wouldn't take it down to almost no dark, no light at all. And the, uh, I gradually raised the level of light on it. and bring it down again. Much of my work tends to be uniquely responsive to any changes of illumination. And the darker the scene in reference to the, uh, if I had the light on this at night, the, the light would just literally expand throughout the whole piece and you'd be more cognizant of the colors that are there and, and so forth. Now once again, this is a 48 by 48 inch painting. And I regard it as a, one of my master paintings of light dealing with transitions and color vibrancy and a very nice refreshing approach to painting. 
And if you're a photographer, you'd love this painting for whenever you have friends over to take pictures in front of them. And you'll have like an aura behind them. Now this is one of the pieces that it's been a fun piece in reference to I've taken an amazing number of pictures of people in front of us and it's kind of it's like a stage setting. It's, it's a unique and beautiful. Now this particular work will be sold at twelve thousand dollars and it's a, a value at any price. It's a, a unique piece.